M0FXP, welcome back to the channel. Let's unbox the UV8DR clone. So it's not a Yesu, it looks like a Yesu. It's definitely not, and it's not submersible. Very nice box, and the device really, it's a tri-band Bofeng uh, that is, you know, copying a Yesu. So let's, let's have a closer look, let's see what's in the box. So we'll just get everything out. You do have an instruction manual, there's two antennas, two meter and 70 stem. The actual radio which you know it does you know it does look nice and the battery looks very yesu it's not a yesu battery it's quite a big battery though and you've got a, a big desktop charger not sure why they've included a phone charger i don't feel like that would do anything and then yeah the adapter for your country so let's get everything out right that's everything out the box there's the set i mean you've got to remember it's budget yeah so it's like 60 70 quids worth when these came out, they were probably, you know, the Yesu model was more like £200, wasn't it? Now, so, the you know, it's more like holding an actual Bofum. When I turned it on just now, it felt, felt like I was turning on a Bofum. But it is tri-band, 2 metres, 70, 220 megs. A lot of shortcut buttons there that actually do work. And you can even change the screen colour. And there's the uh, the manual that comes with it. So it's OK, you know usual budget they've made the effort to try and give us a manual they're lucky it's quite a nice looking set so they give us two antennas i don't really know why i'd rather just put a dual band one on there but anyway let's put on my set the shorter 77 one, one on there so i'll probably end up using on one of my hot spots and then we'll go around the actual device so let's turn it on i have put a frequency in there hold down Power on. and you can change the boot up logo but i've selected the blue screen just for now i'll change it to orange in a minute and we've got my node in there and a local repeater and it's a very nice looking budget radio i do i do think that a and b band look yeah, it's quite it. i do like that anyway. touch yeah, it's a bit of history, isn't it? Um, you know a the way it lights up green we go to the b yeah. band and you get it goes red when you transmit okay. as well and up and down for changing China. frequency, VFO memory, oops, wrong one, PTT is a back button, and, uh, yeah. well. so that's your memory channels, I haven't put anything in yet, but I will, and we will dig out some software, it's going to be one of the Bofungs, isn't it, it's bound to be. And I do like the fact that all these buttons are preset, it makes it a lot easier for programming, um, two PTTs and a, the volume that it works a bit like the FT70. You press the sort of monitor, it says here T call and monitor. So when you press this, it turns off the squelch, but at the same time, you can turn the knob here, you don't have to pull it or anything, and it, and it does the volume. So this top knob, you know, is a channel change knob, it's, it's, it's only a volume knob when you press this button, and if you just go menu. For example, and say let's hit the um, offset here. It take oh that was took us straight to Vox. So not sure um, if I want to do Vox, but if you go menu, let's hit this one. Power. Enter high. High and low, and it's about it's a five watt radio. They advertise it as a. I will test it. Back again with the uh, one of the PTTs. Let's go menu, and then we'll hit scans. And it's gone to, to light. Squelch, light. Color, light. Hit that. Underneath here, twin pin cable. Let's get my uh, Bofeng microphone on there. Let's grab it. Poke it in. They call it Kenwood cables, don't they? Push it in. And then go back to mm, VFO mode. And is it yeah, it's working fine. Okay, go to the A band. No one there now, is there? So, if we set the CT CSS, so if we go menu CT and then go menu, no, I don't know how to do it. I'm trying. Um, ah, there you go, push the, that one again CDC. 
77. Enter, then back out. So we should be able to open up my uh, Hubnet node now. Let's give it a go. Yeah, I think that did open, actually open it. Let's go volume, press the volume. Let's see if anyone's there. M0 FXP calling for a contact. I always find that with external microphones, the audio is always a bit sharp. There's no one there at the moment. Let's go menu and change the color. Code, the code, code, channel. Channel name, so you can, yeah, it's exactly the same programming as my Bofeng UV9. Dual watch, where's the color? Timeout, beeps, color. Okay. They are. Menu. And then back out. And that's it. it. It does look nice, you know? It's a budget radio. I've got the UV, UV3 clone. Like magic that appears. And I, I really actually like it. I, I use it a lot. So, because it, it just goes in my pocket. It's perfect. It needs charging, this thing does, but yeah, you can see it just lost its charge there. Uh, but I do like it. Um, which one do I prefer of the two? I, I think I prefer the VX8. It's just, yeah, it's way more fun to use. Got every button you you can think of. It's going to be easy to program. I'm going to do, I will do videos programming repeaters, but it seems quite straightforward. Just go to, go to VFO mode, type the frequency, 145. Uh, 750, that's GB3 Bravo Charlie. And then I would use the front. So you go menu, it says offset there. Go like that. Ah, it's not showing offset. Maybe it's going straight to Vox. So maybe we just hold it. No. This is why I do the tutorials separate. But let's try again. Menu, menu. No, it's not, it's not giving me the shift. So we'll have to go menu. Let's go up. So we're at number nine, eight. Squelch is number five, power. So if you were to change it, you go menu and then change. Back, menu, must be another another method of going back. But anyway, um, number one is Vox. So we're looking for shift and CTCSS. There's a shift. And we want, I wonder if you can type it. You can, so we want zero, let's start again. Zero, six, there's our shift. That's gone in. Wonder, to go back, you have to press the PTT, do you? I'll, I'll work out if there's a if there's a quicker way. There's the tone. We go menu, and we want ninety four point eight. So, and then we want a minus shift. Menu code the code encode. Here it is encode. That's the one we wanted. Shift. There it is. Menu minus. We back out. That should be our repeater. We got a minus written there. Ah, there it goes. I was pressing the wrong PTT, lol. PTT for the A and the B band. Okay, well, yeah, that one I get outside and I will do some tests soon. Menu. Let's just quickly shift. flick through again. So you've got shift direction, step at 26. Band Narrow and wide band. PTSS. Searching PTSS. tones. Vox. Vox. Set. Light. Scan. Scrambler, scrambler, it does scan. Oh, scrambler. Stopwatch. <laughs> okay. Is that the time? Yeah. PTT mode A and B. And back to the beginning. Radio, that seems simple. Look, press the FM button here. And you're on the radio. Try another shortcut because you've got the white buttons, look, and then you've got the sub button underneath in orange. So, I, what I need to work out is what is the what makes you 
use the sub because if I just go menu then two power. goes to power okay I see that so if I want to use the dual watch which is the sub button do I hold it no uh, menu so I will come back with more videos I think I'll leave it there this is just an unboxing and just a quick just let you see it uh, yeah I think it's worth what you pay for it it's about 60 odd pound and um, if you're looking for a budget radio that's going to give you lots of time just tinkering, it's definitely not waterproof. And it comes in many different badge names. It has got this unusual connector. Like, that is a Yesu connector, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. What is it? Seven pin or six. So it's, I believe in the manual, it says that it's packet radio. But hmm, just the fact they've done it and you've got LEDs there and here and here. I, I like the fact that there's... More than one LED. That I'm guessing is the torch. So it's just how to turn it on. Again, it's going to be one of these function ones, isn't it? You've got, I'll read what they say anyway. You've got exit there. So that's interesting. So is that my exit? Go menu. Store ah, channel. we now know the exit. Menu, exit. Menu. Okay. And then, so maybe when you go menu, menu. that one says Roger. Box. No, it's definitely not Roger. I think there's a function button. Volts, power, offset, voice, auto lock, CTCSS, save. So you've got save button there. Menu. So let's go to VFO. And then let's hit the save. Men squelch. No. Enter five. Scan and megahertz. Five. All right. Don't worry. I'll come back with more knowledge. Bye for now. Seven three.